Yeah. So we get the gardeners right when we start. And this is the Home VIP experience to start the video. <laughs> We wanted to make this video because I think uh, uh, we need to address a couple things, Pedro. Number one, what is going on with the channel? Look, what type of content are we going to be providing people from now on? Because I think now we have a very good idea. And number two, that it's directly linked to the channel, and that is an update on my life in general. Forget about the garage update. This one is like, it got to that point where it's, we need to talk about my life at this point here. And uh, not about like, oh, what I did when I was a kid and then at 12, my mama molested me. None of that. Uh, we're skipping those tragic... Thank you, Fiona. We're gonna skip through those tragic years and we're just gonna get straight to the meat and bones of the story, which is... An update of my life and on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with the channel. I made a choice. This is, uh, I, I said it before and I think this is just me saying it again because there's a lot of new people here. Uh, I want to do this forever. This is what I enjoy doing the most. It combines both of my biggest passions, which is filmmaking and cars. And once you put them together, pff, an orgasmic combination happens. So definitely this is something I want to pursue from now on. I don't want to be like, oh, you know, like maybe, maybe I'm a YouTuber and entrepreneur. Fuck that. I'll proudly wear the hat because this is where the future is going. So with that said, I've been trying to figure out what the best content is, not only for the channel and for you guys, but also to grow the channel. And I think we got the formula down. What do you think, Pedro? I love it. I think uh, we got it down. I think it's I think it's good right now. So one, let's talk about cars. One hot box, hot topics. One banging gears. One story time and three vlogs a week. Three to four vlogs a week, depending on how many of these we get a week. For the most part, it's gonna be no more than four vlogs a week. That's what we wanna keep it at, unless the vlog goes with a story that's related to something. But that's what we wanna do. We wanna provide you with entertainment. We wanna give you the information. We wanna provide you with that relationship that we build with your audience because this is the future, son. This is how we, we get in touch. This is how you and I make this work. It's like you guys are my girlfriend from a distance and uh, you just don't let me sleep with anyone else. <laughs> but yeah, guys. I really think that's gonna be our winning formula because it's getting a lot of subscribers, a lot of people are getting everything that they want. You get the car info, you get to see the cars in the vlogs, you get to see some adventures, you get to see a, a lot of, the, uh, of my life within it. And I think I wanna sprinkle more of my life into it because really, this is all I'm doing now. So Pedro, why don't we go to the garage and explain people what's next? Let's do it. With my terrible life, is that good? I'm on it. <sighs> At this point, I think it's inevitable to talk about exactly what my life is all about. So number one, I work in real estate. That's that's my main source of income. I buy property, sell them, whatever. Uh, movies, I work in movies. I work in the entertainment industry. Apps, I own a technology company. We create websites, apps, you name it. Consulting, I consult for people that want to buy, sell business, grow their business, any strategies like that. That's part of what I do. And a bunch of other shit, whatever I can to get money, basically. But I'm going to go into detail in each one of these. I think we, 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 we can start by movies. What do you think, Pedro? And that, let's do that in the DBS, because the DBS is James Bond. Let's do it. Let's do it. Movies. I make movies for a living. So I started with a dream. I wanted to make the big ass movie, the 25 to $100 million movie. Then I graduated to TV and by graduating means TV became the next thing while everyone was looking down on me because you know, when you make TV movies, you're making garbage movies. That's what gets you paid in my business. Then from TV, I went to YouTube and everyone's like, what the fuck are you doing? Let me tell you this. A movie that gets around 800,000 viewers makes on advertising on each advertising block around 80 to $90,000 on average on a regular channel. YouTube videos that are an hour long will get about, with the same viewership, about 800 to $2,000. Do you see the disparity? Do you see how everything will change at some point? This is why I'm doing this. Filmmaking is one of my biggest passions. Cars is one of my biggest passions in life. And now I get to deliver content direct to you guys before I had to wait to create the content. Uh, say, minimum a year of developing the product along with getting the budget ready and everything. Then you shoot the movie in a month and then for another six months to eight months, you're post-producing the movie. Now I can give you you everything the same day I make it and you guys give me your feedback and everything and as a surprise to you guys because uh, we're talking about movies I'm trying to get one of the movies that I made that I'm in that is terrible but god I had so much fun making it and I think you'll have some fun laughing at me and if I get the rights back I'll put it on the channel for you guys to uh, enjoy that so movies love the movies I I don't want to make any more regular movies I still do it I just put deals together but I want to make every single one of my entertainment dreams here 
on YouTube because this is a platform to make it happen for real. Hollywood's just way too old school. They don't understand what's coming. This is this is my field. This is what I like. I, I'm quick. I'm quick. I'm, I'm ready to adapt into what's next. So, yeah. Let me just set this up, son, so that it's nice and comfy and cool and collected. Mmm, mmm, mmm. As the software updates. Uh, oh, how convenient, because we're about to talk about software and technology. I also own a technology company. This is why, and another explanation as to why I'm such a geek and love electric cars and anything that's new technology. We create websites and apps. Love to do databases, that's our, our specialty. But we'll do anything. And now that life is getting so hectic, I have two apps, two major apps that are ready to be released uh, that I've worked on for about a year and a half with uh, Rodrigo, you guys know Rodrigo, and uh, Brian. So uh, uh, those apps are ready to go. I'm looking for a CEO for each one of them so they can guide it through the same process. But I'm, I love that field. I love anything that's technology. That's again, the same reward. You get to think about something, you create it, you put it out and then people use it. And another one that's really interesting to me is that I'm doing is, I saw that there's a big space here for people that wanna jump into YouTube. And a lot of people get like, why would you help anyone get into YouTube? They're your competition. No, they're not. I'm a huge believer that this is the new way of consuming media. I'm not competing against other YouTubers. You can watch me and you can watch them. It'll be my chore and my duty to make you watch me every day without getting bored. So I, I agree that that's the case. And for that, let me get to my idea and to what we did. We see, and I actually get a lot of my friends that, you know, like when you work out, a lot of your friends go, hey, wh how do you work out? What do you do? It's the same thing with YouTube. So now that my friends are seeing me be a, a, part, a YouTuber and not a YouTuber and be a part of that, they all want to get into it because they saw someone doing it and making it up to wherever level I'm at and they want to do the same and I see that they're lost in the world and this is where my filmmaking and technology backgrounds collide so we created a database a website that should be launching next week where you can list yourself as an actor uh, you know as talent you can be a videographer you can be an editor you can be makeup you can be anything that works on YouTube or on movies but mostly this is designed for YouTube because we want you guys to be able to get the help that you need with the expertise that you need with professional people and get it done in one simple way. So we created that website uh, and we're so excited for it because I think it'll help a lot of people, it'll help us. Uh, we'll set up all the editors for uh, all the stuff that we do and some other people that we know in the entertainment industry so that if you guys need any help, anytime hiring anything to make your own videos, you'll be able to do it on our website. And. Uh, that's with much love because I wish that existed when I started this, although I was already prepared because I'm a filmmaker. So, there you have it. Cup Gang, that's another business. However you wanna look at it, it is now a legitimate business with proper sales, with websites, with trademarks, with all the stuff that we need. The real reason we created Cup Gang was for its message, uniting people. How do we do that? And we do that through cars. That's the best way to put it. Obviously, any place where you can go support the cause, help us with the films that we do, the banging gear stuff, I mean, it's incredibly appreciated. This is why it's there. But to us right now, this is way bigger than all of us. This is why Cup Gang is Cup Gang Salamandrin is Salamandrin because Cup Gang has a wonderful message that I'm, I'm in love with and I would love for everyone to just keep passing on and making it a big thing. Because I think us together as car guys, which by the way, we're like, if you ask any of your friends, what's a car guy? Everyone's like, oh, he's a fucking douchebag that likes cars. We can make an incredible name for ourselves here. <laughs> so I'll take that. I'll take that. Uniting people, bringing them together, making friendships that will last forever. Because of what I have and what I got because of Cup Gang, with all of my friends now and those people and everyone around it, fucking Pedro and everyone else that I love so much, I want everyone to live the same. I want every, I. this is what I want. I want everyone to experience the same love and same and feel the same satisfaction that I got from this so that you can pass it on to others and others and others and just share the love. So uh, Cup Gang is a business. There's no way to hide it. It's, it's very much alive. It's very time consuming. I love it and it's making me go bold. So, uh, and we have to come to the fancy car because we're going to talk about my main source of income, which is real estate. I love real estate. I can't stop doing it. What I'm going to do to adjust to my life now is a different strategy. The way I make my money and keep making money in real estate until today is I buy buildings that need a little bit of fix up. I do the cosmetic fix up that are completely empty. I bring in tenants. I fix it. And I go to the bank and pull money and do again, again, and again, and again. That takes a lot of time, effort, and energy. 
And since I don't want to do that anymore, I'm very happy with the passive income that I'm getting from real estate. And I'm going to jump into buying pieces of land in places that I think are going to blow up. Uh, I think I have a pretty good gauge here in California where everything is going. And I'm very excited about that. I just don't want to deal with tenants day to day anymore. I don't want to uh, lease out the buildings. I, I, I just don't want to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. Hey, and, and like they said, it's not about working hard. It's about working smart. I've been busting my balls for fucking years and years, being all over the place. Like right now, again, I came out of retirement to be fucking busy as shit in this and not have time for myself or for anything that I'm doing. But now I realize I'm, I'm at that point. I've never had these many responsibilities at such a high level on every single thing that I do. And I'm at that point where I'm willing to delegate. I'm hiring people. Uh, we're delegating responsibilities within the group to make everything so much more successful, so much more, um, the operation be so much more smooth or much smoother, if you will, and uh, uh, seamless so that I'm not killing myself. I mean, there's no reason for that. And now that we're doing that, I think I can do the real estate thing easy. I mean, it's going to take a, a, a day or two a month tops and uh, uh, keep doing my thing. I think uh, I love real estate. It's just so much money, but uh, a man's got priorities and those are my $300 for my YouTube channel. I think that's it, Pedro. $300 from our YouTube channel will substitute all the real estate money. <laughs> mm, this is the face of a guy that makes mistakes. And of course, we're here in the smart to talk about Salamondrin as a whole. Salamondrin, uh, the company, not just me. And that's a lot of goddamn work. Guys, I have a mobile app coming for you. I know that there's a lot of fans in China that watch the show and can't do it on YouTube because of uh, uh, IP problems. But uh, don't worry about it. We got an app coming. We got an app coming in Mandarin too. The penis point system keeps being worked on. We have merchandise coming out for Salamandrian. I mean, so many goddamn things. But this is what's taking most of my time. And this is what I love doing the most. Salamandrian was a brand of mine that I created years ago when I started making videos online the name came about because on my first email address I didn't want to put my entire name or I didn't want to put my name and numbers I thought it'd be some a play on words something my last name is Salomon I figured Salomon Dream sounded funny in Spanish and boom before you know it there's a moron online that's called Salomon Dream. now I'm making videos for you don't know why or <laughs> how that happens but I couldn't be and, and you know honestly I couldn't be more grateful for everything that's happened to me and with me and how much I'm fucking enjoying my life because of you guys. All of the adventures that I've gone through with uh, Pedro, with Farshad, with the boys, doing banging gears, all the stuff that we do on the daily. I just literally close my eyes, imagine what I would love to do, and I get to do it and show you guys, and you guys are loving it, and nothing makes me happier, and that's what I'm here for. We're working around a lot of stuff, though. YouTube is obviously creating more and more problems for content creators. I am very good at copyright material because that's, again, one of my expertise is film producing. So uh, I, I have an alternative for that. I mean, and the end goal of this is not just to, I wanna make a fortune out of YouTube, let me squeeze every penny out of it. But when YouTube is now starting to get into your money, you start to get, you know, how am I gonna take care of like the Pedro bills? How am I gonna take care of the production bills? How am I gonna take care of, I mean, you don't see it, but like, we buy cameras, the film that we use, we have drones, we rent cars, all that stuff. As long as it's not an expense to me, I don't care. So we're working a bunch of stuff and obviously never, not once, I'll tell you, either you get premium content that you pay for or not. You're always gonna get both, so don't ever worry because that's the way this works. Everyone that's giving you either paid subscriptions or none don't really understand how this works. I think what I'm, I'm what we're going to come out with for you guys is going to be great. There's not going to be any complaining because you're get you're going to get everything you're getting right now for free. And for YouTube, for the workaround, you'll see it, but it will not cost you a dime if you don't want to pay for anything and you'll still get all of the content that you see today. So what YouTube's doing to make it harder for anyone to make money is if you curse in your videos, if you show something that's a little sexual, something that they don't like, that they want to censor, they have the ability to do so. So basically and your channel as a whole. <laughs> my, my channel as a whole is basically gonna suffer, burn and everything. It hasn't done it yet because I feel like I'm too small for them, but we'll get to that point for sure. And before they strike, I'm striking. And uh, with everything that I know, I think I can help a couple of uh, other YouTubers here uh, at no cost whatsoever. So uh, yeah, guys. Let's do this together and thank you so much for letting me be a part of it. Well, I want to wrap this up by saying thank you very much, guys, for everything. By showing you how my life and everything is just going into this one direction, which is YouTube. 
live entertaining, and hopefully I'm smart enough to use everything that I know from the entertainment, business world, technology world, and car world, put it all together into one and give you guys the best content, the best material, the best stuff, the best merchandise, the best everything that you can possibly look for in the best deal in one. So thank you so very much for watching. As always, Cup to the Bangers. Looking forward to uh, please you even more.